Now, we gave you a little teaser a you minute ago. Wait, did you? <laughs> I'm so excited. And our next guest is probably best known for being half of the North London duo Rizzle Kicks. They've got some bangers, by the way. Uh, but Jordan Stevens is a man of many talents, combining acting and writing with his musical ability. Yeah, he's also a huge Arsenal Ooh. fan. Can't win them all. And we're delighted to say he joins us live now. Jordan, <coughs> really good to see you. Thanks for being on the show. We want to know all about your love affair with Arsenal, please. Where did it begin? <laughs> yes, uh, well, I was born at Whittington Hospital in Whittington Hospital, uh, which is just near Highbury in Archway. So, unfortunately, and fortunately, I've been an Arsenal <laughs> fan my whole life. Um, and, yeah, particularly, you know, watching Ian Wright and then Gary Henry. I mean, yeah, Wrighty is an absolute legend, isn't it? And actually, Arsenal have been pretty good recently as well, so you must be enjoying it right now. Um, was it always your aim to become a musician or did you, did you want to become a footballer? No, I did. I wanted to be a footballer when I was younger. Um, I went to a football... I, went, I think I went to the same football academy as Raheem Sterling, actually. Yeah. Uh, I used to um, uh, be trained by a guy called Benson in North West London. And... And then when I got a little bit older, when I went to Brighton, I moved to Brighton. I did get a uh, trial for Brighton, but I, um, I was just taken up by the joys of making music. And fortunately, I'm, uh, it, made, it made, made something for me. Otherwise, I'd literally be kicking myself. <laughs> you, you actually played with and against an England international as a youngster, didn't you? Tell us about that. <laughs> Yes, when I was on trial at Brighton, I was <laughs> uh, Lewis Dunk was playing, and um, yeah, I remember playing with Dunk. In fact, I played against him at school a lot, and I did score against him a lot. Uh, but I, a I'm, lot. somehow, well, I'm <laughs> not as I'm not as good as, as you know. I've seen him marking, you know, like Luis Suarez, uh, Aguero. Like it's it's mad to see how far he's come. Um, but, he, you know, he was talented. But I did spin him, I promise. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Jordan, I need to see video evidence yeah. of you spinning Lewis Dunk, I think. <laughs> so do I. I want video <laughs> evidence. I need to use it until, until my, my last days. <laughs> um, right, let's get on to the game yesterday then. 2-2 two, two it finished. I mean, as an Arsenal fan, being 1-0 up, being 2-1 mm. up, do you feel like it's a point gained or maybe two points lost? I mean, honestly, I think I feel like it's a point game just because we didn't know as Arsenal fans that Saka would be starting um, before the game begun and we were expecting the worst. Liverpool are, are looking good this season. Our injury list is ridiculous. But you can just see the difference that, that Saka makes, that Timber made. I thought White was actually really good at centre-back. Saka's goal was mm. like that boy. Mm. Uh, he's my idol. He's 10 years younger, but he's my idol. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, I think if Big Gabby didn't come off, we would have got the win. So, uh, we'll, we'll, you know, I'm, I'm glad we, had, we got the draw. Liverpool should have really capitalised on us having such a makeshift back four. It's, it's similar for us, Jordan, because Cole Palmer is significantly younger than us, but he's also our yeah. idol, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> he actually are you Chelsea? Are you both Chelsea fans? Yeah, we are. We got you in a couple yeah, of weeks, right. Jordan. We didn't, uh, yeah. we, we didn't mention that before we got you on the show, just in case, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but this morning, we've been talking about Jamie Carragher's comments about Arteta's style and how it's mm. closer to Jose Mourinho than Pep Guardiola, according to Carragher. Do you agree with that? No. <laughs> no, I don't agree with that. We've, we, listen, we, we've had we've had like a bizarre start to the season. I mean, it's, it's difficult to not seem moany and complainy. I mean, it is what it is. You know I mean, we've had three red cards. We've had some major injuries, and a couple of times we parked the bus. And you know, some people don't like that. It gets points, um, but I don't by any stretch think that's our style of play. I mean, yesterday we weren't like that at all. Jordan, are you just hurt from the amount of times Jose got the better of Arsenal when he was Chelsea manager? Nice. Did he? <laughs> yeah, I did used to. <laughs> I did used to hate playing host there. I mean, he's such a character. I, I mean, we love him in hindsight, you know what I mean? But okay, yeah, at the time, it was a nightmare. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, obviously, the title race was so brilliant last season. I mean, five mm. points feels like a lot already, that gap to Manchester City. Do you feel yeah. like this is the year Arsenal can maybe get the better of them? Or is five, po five points maybe too much? Um, it's so, I mean, it's hard to tell, but I, I don't think, I personally don't think that the points dropped in these first eight games is something to overlook. Like, that's a massive, we've lo we've dropped maybe nine points now in, in, the, in the opening games. Mm. Three red cards. I mean, there are conspiracy theories on the internet. I don't know if you guys have been on Twitter recently, <laughs> Arsenal Twitter, there are conspiracies. But, um, but, but it's what it is and we've got, to, we've got to carry on. I think we're playing well. I was really impressed with us yesterday. We want to get our main players back in once Odegaard get, get, comes back in. I thought Mourinho was great. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I just want us to get a string of good games together and I want, I want to beat Man City. Mm. <clears throat> 
OK, but you know, speaking of winning, you recently won an award yourself. It was funded by the National Lottery. Can you tell us a bit about what you've been up to? Huge congratulations, by the way, for that. <clears throat> yeah, thank you so much. I, I was honestly blown away by that. I haven't won many awards, and, and that was really a special one, to be honest. I don't really do it for awards. But, yeah, so Youth Music uh, had an award ceremony. Youth Music is funded by the National Lottery. It's uh, an incredible organisation that pushes youth work and the creative arts and I came through, uh, and, uh, here's a little video of me actually right there. I came through a, a workshop called Audio Active in Brighton. Um, and Youth Music and Audio Active together, a lot of the reason why Rizzle Kicks had their first ever show, we had our first ever show. And uh, I'm just like so passionate about encouraging grassroots organizations, well, the government to support grassroots organizations. And this is something that National Lottery is doing. It's actually National Lottery's 30th birthday, and they're celebrating 30 game changers. And one of them is. Adam Julia, who was the guy running Audio Active when I went there. And I just can't emphasize enough how important youth workshops are. So I might have won an award with youth music, but I, I certainly gave all the credit to, you know, the, the workshops and organizations and the community people that are community workers that are pushing for young people to have a place to thrive, you know? Oh, you've done amazing, really yeah. amazing thing that you're doing there. Yeah, congratulations, Thanks. Jordan. It's been a real pleasure to have you on the show, and maybe we'll reconvene yeah. again when when Chelsea play Arsenal a couple Get of him weeks' in the time. Studio. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, give me a ring. We'll talk. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs>